Hi, I'm feeling moody. Today is the waxing gibbous moon in Virgo, the sign of Virgo. Holy Spirit, what is the energy for today? What's the message for today for all who will stop by to hear the message? Welcome. This may not resonate with everybody. Energy can be transferable. There is no gender in tarot. So, stay to the end and see if this message is for you. Oh, I came out reverse. Okay. Waxing gibbous moon in the astrological sign of Virgo. So the four of pentacles is a sign of determination. Somebody is taking a stand, moving forward, thinking about their pentacles. Or somebody's been carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders because they're not able to manifest what it is that they want. Their desires and passions aren't coming to fruition because of judgment. Maybe the way that they've treated somebody else make, made things in the past, because this is past energy, heavy for them. We're all under judgment all the time. We're either building bad karma or good karma, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sometimes we are um, when we're taking care of ourselves and doing the right thing. That's definitely Ace of Cups energy. It's important always to keep self in mind. Knowing that loving yourself, taking care of yourself. Somebody's made a decision to possibly move forward and focus on themselves to let go of the games and some immaturity, some inconsistency in their behavior. They've been enlightened with the hermit here, have spent some time in solitude to get in touch with their feelings, to be guided. Which is very important because the upcoming energy, again, is the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Again, specifying the importance of Twelve. Twelve being the Ace of Cups, self, help, healing, protection, guarding yourself, protecting yourself, taking care of yourself, making sure that you set healthy boundaries that you allow thoughts and people to come around you that serve you, that uplift you. So again, it feels like there is somebody who had past karma, right? Making uh, maybe their journey a little heavier, felt like they couldn't really manifest what it is they wanted with the King of Wands reverse, and then made a decision to focus on that. Okay, tell me more about the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Temperance reverse. Somebody actually lost control, became unstable, unhinged, unbalanced. 
that's what caused them not to be able to manifest what they want with the King of Wands reverse. But the lack of manifestation, this throwing them off balance, off kilter, forced them to look deep inside. We all are forced to look deep inside of ourselves when we confront situations that we know are not for our best interest. We know that they've thrown us off balance with temperance reverse. We know that when we become the king of wands reverse, our intuition is screaming, gain control, gain strength, get it together, rebalance yourself. Yeah, and when you think about it, this isn't even worth your time. Somebody's, you know, judgment is, yes, another person deciding they want a second chance, they made a mistake. Um, it could very well be that, but judgment is also assessing your own personal situation and deciding to move forward, deciding to move on, um, passing judgment on your own situation. And I feel that when somebody takes a deeper look under this Virgo energy, because Virgo is a sign of critical details, a sign that pays attention to critical details. And so I feel like somebody is paying attention to critical details in their own personal life. And passing judgment on their self after spending some time with self on what is going to make their world consistent because the knight of wands can be very inconsistent can be very inconsistent but when he's reversed he wants some stability he wants some consistency there's some maturity some wisdom um, regarding why the King of Wands is reversed. When you're unable to start what it is you want, what it is you desire, you begin to become the hermit and you pay attention to the details in your life. You know, what is blocking you from being able to give birth to your desires and your dreams to obtain what you're passionate about? So then, qualify this Knight of Wands reverse, Holy Spirit. Five of Wands. Yeah. Because once you begin to become the Knight of Wands reverse, old situations, old. Um, conflicts, people, it begins to matter less. Spirit says once you realize that you're ready to move on from what no longer serves you, what is not filling up your cup, you begin to change who you hang out with or how they affect you begins to change. You just don't give them the same amount of energy. You know, it just becomes less and less important. As you mature, as you become consistent in your maturity, as you continue to grow with the five of wands, certain people fall out of your life just because they don't have the same impact on your life. As you grow, you're a different person. So the five of wands doesn't impact you the same way. All of this is enlightenment about filling up your own cup, loving yourself, and becoming introspective on what you need to move forward, the type of people you need to have around you. Mm. Okay, what else, Spirit? I'm sorry, my card just fell. Give me just a second. What else? are we talking about here so currently i feel there is a lot of paying attention to yourself um, changing your focus to within um, refocusing under this waxing gibbous moon there's a lot of 
refocus, to get away from challenges and conflict, changing the focus of what's going to have your priority, your, t your attention. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. Reverse. So not wanting to deal with immaturity, um, inconsistent behavior, stuff that has so far, this being the center of your reading, the Knight of Wands reverse being the center of your reading, and you have the Five of Wands crossing it, all these challenges and conflicts. It's like you've matured yourself. You have changed your situation with the hangman. It's a very personal decision to stop what you've always done and do something different. And then the hermit shows up, the Virgo energy, to allow you to pay attention to the details so that that's where you make the changes mm. after obtaining this strength the courage realizing what you've wanted you're not able to get because of people places and things you are so ready to move forward it's like you leave that situation altogether with the five of pentacles see the five of pentacles is about walking away abandoning even a situation right and not looking back because in the five of pentacles there's another person you could always ask for help there's a way to help yourself but you don't need anyone's help at this point right you don't need anyone's help you're dealing with deception on all levels with the seven of swords but realizing that you have control over that yeah, you have control over, with the Five of Wands crossing the Knight of Wands reverse, you have realized that you have control over who you allow to even be in your space, much less walk away from you, much less tell you something that's bogus or deceive you. I mean, you're guarded. Whatever you're going through currently, which is self-love, self-enlightenment about the control and the confidence and strength that you have that you're able to exercise over your life, eliminating the challenges, the current challenges and conflict is eliminated. Why? Because spirit has changed you. You just don't pay attention to it anymore. And so um, by doing that, you avoid a lot of issues with other people's deception, lies, manipulation. And it also helps you to remain in, in balance, you know. So I see an energy that realizes why they have to eliminate certain people and things out of their life. And here is the Wheel of Fortune clarifying the five of pentacles yeah we're going into a new cycle someone's going into a new cycle and not everybody can go with you sometimes spirit allows people to abandon you or to leave you in your life because they're not supposed to go into the next cycle with you they have their own karma and you have your own karma your own destiny your own faith yeah and so I see an energy that's come to that realization that everyone can't go with you and that feels comfortable with self. You know, the hangman is all about its self-imposed energy. And you always get a pat on the back when you successfully hang out with self. And the Wheel of Fortune is here to let qualifying the Five of Pentacles to let you know everybody can't go on your faded journey everybody's not destined to go with you all the way so there you, you further get clarification in the future of who you need to abandon or let go of or if they walk away from you let them walk away yeah right 
So the wheel of fortune shows up in the for in the future energy to let you know you got some good karma coming. How do I know it's good? Because the Ace of Pentacles appears after that. And that's why all this is deception appears too in the future. When God blesses you, when your new cycle begins and you get the Ace of Pentacles, which is my yes card to everything, all aces are a blessing. And when you receive this blessing, deception will appear. The Seven of Swords is here. So, you know, be prepared for uh, other people to not live up to their word for blockages, delays, deception, for people to talk about you. But you've learned that you don't really need others. With the Knight of Wands, reverse, and the Five of Wands crossing that, and the Hangman. You, you're comfortable with you. You don't really need their validation in the future. But this is about the Ace of Cups protecting what you're being blessed with, right? Protecting it because once you receive your blessings, others are, are going to be hating. Um, there's always going to be deception. <laughs> so be prepared for that in the future. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, because the temperance is here in the future also. This is like a warning letting you know uh, a new cycle is emerging. Because you've spent some time, right, thinking about your situation. Spirit has changed you, right? You have three cards of major arcanas here. Judgment, Hermit, and Temperance. So you're definitely ready to move forward. You feel solid. You feel this Virgo energy and you feel solid in your direction, in your choices. Um, you feel like you've taken out the time to fill your cup and now you're making better choices and a new cycle comes in. And so everybody can't do, go with you. You're going to cut some people. And as a result... Certain people are only going to be around you when you experience the Ace of Wands blessing. Only those who are supposed to experience that blessing with you will feel it. Mm. You have the Hierophant Reverse qualifying also the Seven of Sword. So pay attention to anybody you may have contractual agreements with in the future, any type of commitment, whether it's on a personal level or it's on a career level, you know, whether it's a, in a relationship one on one with somebody, pay attention to who is around you while you're embracing this Ace of Wands energy. Um, whoever you're in partnership with, the details, again, pay attention to the details. The details are very important. Spirit's telling you to focus on that contract. Um, focus on who is around you because everybody is not supposed to be around you. Is there more? This is future energy. You're coming into your blessing. Um, your karma is changing. And there is deception and people that you can't trust in the future. Somebody who may want to um, have a contractual agreement with you. Think about it. Mm. Yeah. They see you as the Nine of Pentacles. And the Three of Wands shows up just to slow you down. It's a delay card for you to think about it. That's qualifying temperance. And in this case, temperance, I think, is referring to patience. Patience, because the Hierophant is reversed. And when Spirit is telling you you're moving towards your destiny, you're going to be blessed because he's preparing you for the journey. But be careful of who you let around you. Right, everyone can't go. The Hierophant is reversed. So any contractual agreements, anything you feel in your gut, anybody challenging your beliefs, your traditions, um, any contractual agreement, commitment, anybody living with you, spouses, 
business partners, soul contracts, any of it. Pay attention to any deception in the future. This is future energy. Okay. So, let's end with some monology cards. Holy Spirit, what's the final advice here? What else for this energy? Holy Spirit, adjustments, oh, okay, right, waxing gibbous moon under the sign of Virgo, mm. okay, so the first thing that you see is surrender to the divine, and we're definitely doing that because I see that um, you have judgment, hermit, and temperance. And when we take stock of our current situation and decide we're going to move forward, we become introspective to come up with our plan, to get to the details, to be critical of our task and how we have a successful completion, and to remain balanced. Um, you know, this plan is something you could critique regularly. You're in touch with spirit because you've done a lot of work. When you have the Ace of Cups and Judgment and the Hermit and Temperance, a lot of self-healing, um, self-nurturing, self-growth, wisdom. So... You've matured here with the Knight of Wands. You're very consistent. You don't need others. And you feel comfortable being by yourself. And that is a great achievement. That's growth. And so that was surrendering to divine. And you achieved. You achieved. And so now Spirit is saying you're at a point where you're going into a new cycle here. And there will be some negativity that you need to release. This new cycle is the wheel of fortune. It's leading you towards your destiny, what you're destined to do. And because spirit is moving you towards your destiny, he's prepared you by making sure that you have everything that you want, that you need to fulfill what you're being called to do. But because you're on the right path, negativity shows up with the five of pentacles and the seven of swords equaling a 12, reminding you of all the growth you put forward, all the positive energy that you've created. So when this negativity appears, adjustments will be required. And that's this Virgo energy in this waxing gibbous moon. It's all about paying attention to the details, any contractual agreements, anybody trying to get close to you. For any reason, because you know you have two fives here. So that's conflict with others, challenges with others, you know, manipulations. So just pay attention to the details with the adjustments are required. And the final, the final recommendation is to believe in the impossible. And all of this refocusing and paying attention to the details and you know, just being very buttoned up, uh, that's what is leading you towards exactly what it is you're trying to obtain. Um, whatever you're praying for, whatever you're working towards, you know, we're all doing something. While we are here alive on this earth, there's a reason. And so we're all doing something. We all have it goals and ambitions we weren't able to get them off the ground in the past and that's why strength appeared right now we have the courage and the confidence to move forward and we turn the knight of wands upside down on his head we're consistent and 
you know what challenges look like. You know what it is to entertain others' thoughts about what you're doing. So the Hierophant being reversed is just qualification on that. Be careful and, and look at the details. And always believe, always have faith in what it is that you want. That's what's going to bring it right to you. I hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you could resonate with. Um, what else? Thank you. Always thank you so much for hanging out to the bitter end. And until the next moon phase, namaste.